What is going on guys, Bobby here, and today we're going to be playing some Heist Daryl. Now I haven't had Daryl on my channel in quite a long time, so that's why we're going to be playing it real quick. Now I haven't played too much today, but I probably have like 7 games we've played, I don't know how many we've played. But anyways, yeah, we have a decent win streak, we have not lost so far, there's been some decent competition. So it's going to be fun getting into a few games here now. Now I don't normally play Daryl, but I feel like I am a pretty good Daryl, so I'll definitely be able to give you guys some tips. I'm going to be playing on Safe Zone, now I really do love this map because I love the meta, I really enjoy playing Jesse, I enjoy playing Brock, and I actually do enjoy playing like a Bull or a Daryl, and those all those brawlers are super, super good on this map. So let's hop into the games and let's get into the first one. So here we go into the first game here. So our teammates are going to be playing with Osiren as well as Jigsaw. Now you guys do know Jigsaw is a very familiar face. <laughs> and I actually love it because I'm always roasting Jigsaw. And some of it's just as jokes, but some of it's just him being a terrible player. And I love reading the comments because every time I play with him, it's just you guys also roasting Jigsaw. It's absolutely amazing. So, you know, I'd love to see you guys call him out if he ever makes a bad play. I'm going to make sure... He reads the comment section because you know I do I do love it when people do roast Jake's also anyways we're gonna get into it over here so we're already up by a good amount so basically the strategy on this map at least for our team comp oh boy this is gonna be tough oh the big double hit that was pretty sneak the strategy for our team comp is basically I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna take out like the throwers or I'm going to be able to take out a brawler by rolling onto him. And then Jigsaw and Osiren are just going to come in with their Brock in their Jesse and just do a good amount of damage. I don't really know what this uh, what this Primo is doing. They're not really running a super meta comp. They do have a Jesse, which is pretty OP. Why is that turret still up? Shoot that turret, Jigsaw. Oh my god, come on. Anyways, uh, yeah, so we're basically just going to roll in, take out like the lower health people, and then have Osiren, the Brock, and Jigsaw. The Jesse kind of just come in, so we're just going to go in, and they don't have too many lower health people, so this is going to be a little bit more difficult. We'd want to go for a spike, if anything, but their spike was playing a little bit too aggressive. Jigsaw, what is that placement? Like, like how is that going to help us in any possible way? Like, and he just dies. Whatever. Whatever. Anyway, so he's not going to really help us in any possible way, but I guess... We're just going to do us. So it is a pretty close game right now. We should be dominating this. I don't know why this is even close to begin with. So we're just going to chill over here. We're going to wait for their Jesse to back up a little bit. Uh, and move forward. Whatever. We got some pretty good position. We're on the Primo now. The Primo is doing some pretty good work to us. We're just going to heal up. We do have our roll. We do have a Siren bomb in the safe. Let's see if we can get that spike. This is exactly what I mean. What we want to go for. Just roll on the lower health guys. It'll be pretty easy. We just about have the safe, it's one shot, and that is going to be it for the game. So that's a pretty good first game. We kind of showed you guys what this comp is about, what we can do, but I really want to show you guys against a really meta comp what we're supposed to do, what you're supposed to do against a thrower because we are very, very important when we face a thrower. So let's get into the second game and hope we get a good matchup. So here we go into our second game. Now this is a pretty unique comp, but you are gonna see this a decent amount. So you got triple turrets. You got the Pam Healing Station, the Jesse turret, and then obviously the the, uh, the Penny turret. Now this is pretty good. You're gonna see these brawlers not necessarily together too much, but you are gonna see these brawlers a lot on this map. So let's see if we can get our roll over here. So they already got one turret out. Jigsaw's hopefully just gonna hit the turret or hit a wall. You know, why not hit a wall, Jigsaw? But anyways, let's see if we can chip that turret. There we go. You see how we hit that turret ever so slightly, so we don't have anything annoying us right now. We're going to do some work to the safe. We just did 25%. This penny doesn't know where we are. Probably does now. We're just going to go right over here. I'm going to give him a little bit of a shove. Let's see if we can get that juke. Oh, the juke game's strong. Get around the wall. There we go. All right, so we're still alive. We've done a good percent to the safe. There's 45% left. I think he just put down his turret, so we can't be saying still anymore because of the turret. We're just going to go for the safe. We don't really plan to end it here, but we're going to do a good amount. There's only 20% left on it, so that's probably one more roll. Or if the Brock can get super, or if Jigsaw can get a few good shots on it. But anyways, we are about to get our super. We don't really want to get hit by too much. Now, the middle choke point, obviously, is the main choke point. Oh, that was a big YOLO. I don't know why I did that. The middle is obviously the big choke point of this map, and you're always going to have people spam through there. So what I would suggest for the tank is just go up this left over here. It's kind of ignored just because it's not that fun to go up. But it's really easy and it's pretty safe. As you can see, we're already on their side, like right over up up in the middle with our supers. So we're just going to chill over here. The Pam won't allow us to get the kill on the safe, likely. Oh boy, they're really cracking down on that defense. See, come on. Whenever we got the Brock safe, 
I mean, the Brock Super to kill the save. So anyways, that's going to end the second game. We definitely did a pretty big carry that game. But anyways, it's the end of the second one. We're still yet to face a thrower. And I really, really want to show you guys us facing a thrower. So let's hop into the third game here. And let's see if we can face a strong team. All right, guys, so here we go. We're getting into it over here, and we're just gonna go to the left. Now, sorry if I gave kind of an aux start to this game. I'm in a voice chat, and I'm like, I just got, I basically deafen myself every single time we get into a game, and I just heard some pretty suspect news about attorney. So, I was just a little bit sussed out. But anyways, let's just roll onto this Jesse over here. We're gonna get that Jesse, we're gonna kill him, and we're just gonna try and stay alive for the most part. Now we are going to get our super back. Let's see if we can do well. I don't think we're going to stay alive against this Primo, but we're at least going to get our super back when we want to go back on the offensive side because, you know, Daryl does charge over time just by just by being alive, you know? He kind of just charges. It's, it's pretty weird, but, you know, it's pretty interesting to see a brawler that does something special. So I do enjoy seeing that, and I think it's very unique. I'm just going to wait a tiny bit so we get some value on this roll. Never mind. I guess not. We're just going to chill. We're going to do a little bit of juking over here. Now, we're not going to kill the saves. We're not going to roll on it. Instead, we're going to save our super. Do you see Jigsaw basically doing nothing again? You know, typical Jigsaw. Let's see if we can roll and hit this Primo. There we go. Did that big roll. Got the Primo. We're just going to be shooting the safe over here. It's going to take two more shots. Looks like we're not even going to need to shoot. And that is the end of the third game. And again, no throwers. Like, well, what is wrong with people on this map? He's a thrower. Like, I know we're not. But we're substituting the thrower for the Daryl. So I, I really do want to see a thrower. I want to show you guys. Anyways, those are three pretty quick and dominating games. We had possession basically the entire time. Now we're going to get into the fourth game. It's probably not going to be the final game. Just because I, I want to show you guys a thrower. Like, well, what is happening here? But anyways, let's get into the fourth game. And hopefully we can find an abnormal comp or something that has a thrower. So here we go into the fourth game here. So we're going to be facing, I think we saw a Poco. That's kind of odd. A Poco, a Jesse, which is pretty typical. We do see a Poco. Why is someone running a Poco? And a Colt. Now, Colt isn't bad. I might even whip out the Colt for the last game. I don't, I don't think so because I do want to show you guys a Daryl against a thrower comp. But anyways, you know, we're just going to spin. We know we, know we won. Like, what comp are they running? Like, how do they think they're going to win this game? How do they realistically think they are going to win? It's pretty odd, to be honest. But anyways, Jigsaw's just holding it. Like, Why? Sometimes I just don't understand Jigsaw. I enjoy playing with him, but sometimes I, I just don't understand. I like... I, I, I don't know if I'm not intelligent enough to understand Jigsaw. Oh, no, I got trapped behind a wall. Oh. Like, it, it must just be my intelligence. I must not be smart enough to understand Jigsaw's 6 billion IQ plays. But, but yeah, sometimes uh, I'm kind of confused when I play with Jigsaw. No, don't give him a heal. So we're just going to chill over here. We're probably going to get that Colt. We're going to be able to do so. We're not going to be able to kill the safe. So we're just going to chill over here and stand behind this wall. Get our health back. Wait for them to get out of their bubbles. Let's roll on that Colt. Get that quick two shot. For fun, let's just roll on this Poco because, you know, why not hurt the Poco's feelings? Got the roll back. Oh, I wanted to finish the save. Whenever that's the fourth game. Now, these comps, that comp was kind of weird. I don't want to end it off on a weird comp. So, we're going to go into fifth and final game. Whatever happens, happens. Let's hope we get a really good team and a really good comp. Let's get into the final game. So here we go. We got into the game a little bit late. So I don't know exactly what we're facing. So we're going to go up the left side, as I said before. Is that a Piper shot? All right, so we're finally facing a thrower. So we actually, last game we actually did face a thrower, but then someone came into my room and obviously, you know, I'm not going to put into the video someone coming into my room and talking to me for my family. So we didn't get a recording of that. We did win, obviously. We did destroy the Dynamite. All right, we're just going to chill in here. I don't like that Piper. Piper be spooky. All right, we're going to move up here now. Piper's going to try and get an angle on us. We're going to say, no, Piper. We're going to hit you instead. And we're going to hide behind here. Get some health. Now, they do have a thrower. So, basically, what you want to do against the thrower, very simple. A thrower is a control brawler. What is a control brawler? What does it do? A control brawler controls, obviously. What's it good for? A control brawler basically is just there to make sure that your team is always at an advantage position-wise. So, in the middle, you know, the other team is trapped in spawn or 
Let's just do that. I'm just pulling off the big jukes right here. The other team's trapped in spawn or something like that. So we're just gonna roll over here. So what you wanna do, it didn't show you guys this game because we're too busy dominating, but all you do is you just roll onto the thrower, you bounce him, and he has nowhere to go. Like a thrower doesn't do damage from up close. He throws over walls and controls. So you just roll right onto him, you get the kill, you destroy, and you win the game. But anyways, that's gonna be it for the Daryl and Heist video for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the five games. We went on quite the win streak. We did pretty we did pretty well, I can say. You know, uh, we didn't face too many great teams, but we're definitely filling it up with the wins. So, anyways, GG's to Jigsaw and Osiren, even though we didn't lose a game. Make sure you guys are roasting Jigsaw in the comments below because you know we love doing that. And that's one of the things that I love doing as a family with you guys. I love roasting Jigsaw just as you guys should love roasting Jigsaw. So, anyways, GG's to them. Thanks for watching, guys. If you guys enjoyed, you already know, like, comment, subscribe. That's all for today. I'm going to be back tomorrow with another video. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow, so leave in the comment section below what I should do. But anyways, that's it for today. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.